Xinhua Live. This is Zhou Xiaotian with China Xinhua News Agency. We are now live broadcasting to you in the oasis city of Dunhuang, northwest China's Gansu province. I am now at the third Silk Road Dunhuang International Cultural Expo. Nearly 1,000 delegates from almost 100 countries and international organizations are gathered here to offer suggestions on cultural exchange and intergovernmental cooperation during the event. For our camera, we can see that behind me there is a Silk Road themed exhibition. Hundreds of Dunhuang styled artworks are being displayed here, including musical instruments, uh, porcelains, uh, Buddha canopies, and textiles, through which we can learn about Silk Road history and uh, its cultural diversity. Now, please follow me and let's take a look. Hello everyone and welcome to Xinhua Live. This is Zhou Xiaotian with China Xinhua News Agency. I am now live broadcasting to you in the ancient city of Dunhuang, northwest China's Gansu province. I am now at the third Silk Road Dunhuang International Cultural Expo. Uh, nearly 1,000 delegates from 100 countries and international organizations are gathered here to offer suggestions on cultural exchange and intergovernmental cooperation during the event. For our cameras that we can see, there is a Silk Road themed exhibition behind me. Nearly 200 pieces of artwork are being displayed here, including uh, musical instruments, uh, canopies, and textile. The most interesting ones are the ancient uh, musical instruments that were revived and made by artists and experts in Dunhuang according to the images of Dunhuang painting. As you can see besides me, there is a copy of a part of the Dunhuang painting and there is a strange ancient musical instrument in a religious figure's hand. Uh, perhaps we cannot see this kind of musical instrument uh, anymore nowadays. But thanks to the artists and the experts uh, in Dunhuang, we can, we can see and even try to play this kind of music, musical instrument uh, today in Dunhuang. Uh, this kind of uh, musical instrument, uh, its name is uh, uh, an ancient Chinese musical instrument. Its shape is just like a flower. It has uh, five strings uh, and with uh, beautiful colors and patterns on it. Uh, also behind me there are also uh, various uh, ancient uh, musical instruments on display. Let's go and take a close look. Throughout the long human history, Silk Road is undoubtedly a symbol of civilization. Along the ancient Silk Road, different civilizations mingle with, with each other and produce even more splendid one. Dunhuang was an important hub of the ancient Silk Road, well known for its religious paintings in the grottoes dating back more than a thousand years. There are more than 60,000 pieces of musical instruments in the images of Dunhuang paintings, including Asian Chinese ones and those from Western countries. Mm -hmm. 
请问你怎么称呼？呃，美国西王。哎，你好，王老师。呃，请问咱们这边的展品都可以，就是演奏，都是真正的乐器吗？对，咱们这都是可以演奏，而且是一个很棒的乐器，而且我们这些乐器的
porcelain is one of the greatest invention of China. If you take a close look at it, you can you can find that they has they have beautiful color and patterns on it. They are all elements from from the ancient Dofang art. Porcelain is a ceramic material made by heating materials, which slowly evolved in China and was finally achieved at some point about 2,000 to 1,200 years ago, then slowly spread to other East Asian countries along the Silk Road, and finally Europe and the rest of the world. Porcelain is also referred to as China, or fine China in English, as it was first seen in imports from China. Now I will lead you to the next part of this exhibition. There are some uh, beautiful and uh, elegant Buddha canopies on display. And today I will invite Miss Yan, a leader artist who made all those beautiful artworks to tell us some stories about it. Okay, let's go. Okay. <音> Here today we have Miss Yan who made all those religious artwork and also an expert on this culture. Hello, Miss Yan. Hello. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate you on displaying all your artwork here in Dunhuang. Thank you. Uh, could you please introduce some of those artworks for our audience? Sure. Uh, hello, this is Vivian Yan. I was very happy to introduce the Dunhuang Buddha's Cave. The inside the Buddha's cave, we call this one called Buddha's Canopy. The meaning for the Buddha Canopy is top of the 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 Buddhas. The top of the Buddhas have the canopy. That's the, for the blessing for the older people. And the, usually the people when you see the when Buddha don't show the canopy showing the meaning Buddha's coming. So for this one, that's for the Dunhuang Buddha Cave 329 in the south wall of the left side. Uh, what material is it made of? Uh, this material we all made from the embroidery and actually this uh, technology is from uh, India for the royal family to make. They have like a uh, hundred years old history. For the older color here, we follow wherever the Dunhuang Cave right now. The color is rock uh, color, and uh, usually we use the Swarovski crystal, 
and uh, all the the bee is uh, dying for the hen dying, and uh, we use this one for the uh, use for the Buddha's seven treasure like a uh, gold, silver, pearl, and uh, and so on, especially for the crystal. So and uh, for this special canopy, you can see when you see the uh, Dunhuang Cave, the three two nine, you only can see the this part of the canopy. That's it, wherever the exactly the look like, so we call 2D. And then for the top, is we bet to like, a, um, we're thinking about, it's like a, a flowing blossom. So that's the 3D direction we can see. Uh, how long did it cost you to finish? Uh, for the, we start from the friend, the lamb friend to finish it, that's about one year. Uh, I will show you the next one, very special piece. Uh, please follow me. Okay, let's go. Uh, for this piece of the, the Buddha canopy, you can see the uh, this piece we call walking perfume. That happened in the you can first discover is a thousand years of history, and we decide the uh, Buddha's canopy three to nine, uh, the canopy pattern for this, and also you can put the incense and the perfume when you're walking around. You can see I make it like a necklace. And you can open it, it's walking perfume. When you're walking around, you can smell very good and yourself and other people. I was very into, happy to introduce this piece for all the people. Okay, thank you, Ms. Yen. Thank you. Now we'll go to the next sector of this exhibition. There are some beautiful and marvelous textiles from Asian Silk Road. Let's go and take a look. Hello everyone and welcome to Xinhua Live. This is Zhou Xiaotian with China Xinhua News Agency. We are now live broadcasting to you in the oasis city of Dunhuang, northwest China's Gansu province. I am now at the third Silk Road Dunhuang International Cultural Expo. Nearly 1,000 delegates from 100 countries and international organizations are gathered here to offer suggestions on cultural exchange and intergovernmental cooperation. For our camera, we can see that there is a Silk Road themed exhibition behind me. Uh, there are several beautiful and uh, elegant textiles on display. Let's have a look. In our camera, that we can see that the uh, the textiles are are made using abstract methods. They are they are expressing some uh, religious meanings and the elements of Dunhuang. I will I would like to 
you guys to have a close look at this one. Its inspiration comes from the famous landscape of Dohuang, the Mingxiashan Mountain, Singing Dew. Singing Dew is renowned for the sound that the wind makes whistling off the sand. This hand-drawn dot design inspired by the vast remote landscape was hand silk screened by Dai artisans, uh, by Chinese artists and Japanese artists. With all the artists and experts in Dunhuang and their persistence and love of, of ancient techniques and history, we may not be able to see those marvelous artworks anymore today. They are a commonwealth of people from uh, countries along the Silk Road and from all over the world. That's all for today's Xinhua Life. I'll see you next time.